Hello, I am coming to you today from a baseball field. Actually, I played softball here, so they play both. I was on an undefeated team here in 1995, the Sluggers. Well, actually, it wasn't this field. It was this one right behind me here, but that one's kind of close to the traffic. And so uh, we're going to talk over here. We're going to chat a little bit about baseball players and baseball because it's baseball season and <laughs> no one's playing it right now um, for understandable reasons. So yeah, even these fields are locked up because they don't want anyone to be playing uh, for a while yet. Um, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Mary Pratt because the last time baseball wasn't really played a lot uh, was around World War II and that's when the creation of the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League was started. And Mary Pratt was one of their top players, left-handed pitcher, got her degree from Boston U in 1936 in physical education. She played like a little bit of everything, um, including baseball. What all did she play? She played uh, basketball, softball, um, field hockey, lacrosse, and baseball. So she was like the all around American athlete um, and a left-handed pitcher for the original Rockford Peaches and then for a little stint in 1944 with the Kenosha Comets. Um, unfortunately this month, uh, she passed away 101. Not too shabby. So you know what? Exercise works, people. <laughs> now fast forward to 1987. There was a documentary on PBS about the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. It's a mouthful. Don't worry, it's abbreviated. A-A-P-B, whatever. Um, and well, anyways, people saw this documentary, especially the Baseball Hall of Fame out in Cooperstown, New York. And the curator out there happened to be a guy named Ted Spencer. Now, Ted was one of Mary Pratt's physical education students. And he's like, I remember her. I remember my teacher talking about when she played professional baseball. And he's like, you know what? We should have an exhibit here. Notice I changed location. Ha, movie magic, I did that on purpose. I'll tell you why in just a second. And so that's what they started doing is curating uh, this exhibit. And they were able to curate a bunch of old uniform, all sorts of all sorts of things. If you have the chance when it's open again to check it out, uh, please, please do. Now when it first opened, they had about 150 former baseball players uh, show up uh, out of the 500 um, that, that did play, uh, which is really, kind of cool and that exhibit and documentary inspired the 1992 film a league of their own yeah that fun penny marshall film there's no crying in baseball yes so that was filmed in 1992 and that's how i first learned about it here and the one thing i remember about that film is this field house here behind me this used to be called the south college field house because it's located on south college so yeah the name of the road Pretty simple. Um, but then they renamed it to the Glenn Morris Fieldhouse, who was a 1936 Olympian, all around uh, amazing guy in Berlin, uh, won a lot of golds and all that. And he also played Tarzan in Hollywood. So then they named this field house, this fancy field house here, after him and still around in Fort Collins, Colorado. And you may remember it from the movie where uh, one of the recruits, she. Uh, Marla, Marla Hooch, where one of the recruits, Marla Hooch, can like hit that baseball and hit it far and she broke the window there. I don't think she did in real life. Yeah, because that would be, because uh, this is a, a pretty historic building here for the CSU campus. Um, but yeah, that was filmed here, which is pretty cool. So that is all. So enjoy your baseball season, whatever it may be. If we're we end up watching uh, South Korean baseball. That guy should be kind of fun, just for something different. Maybe the Colorado Silver Bullets will start up again uh, to play at Coors Field along with the Rockies and Wrigley Field and all over the every other field in the United States of America and beyond. Toronto, wherever. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.